Hi everyone, I'm Robbie Herring and I'm here tonight for Live with Prima and we are going to be making this frame that features the relics and artifacts from Prima by Sandra Everson and I love this heart with wings and you'll also see that we're using some of the new Prima foils and some of the new Prima paint and of course some paper so going to have a, a lot of different products that we're going to play with today and um, we'll get started on that right after a couple of announcements. First off next month or next gosh goodness on Tuesday next week we have Kat Kerr and she's going to be guesting for us and she's also creating um, she's also using some relics and artifacts and she's doing a gorgeous mixed media piece with loads of fun ideas and you can go to the blog today it's already up on the blog to take a peek and I know that's going to be a, a lot of fun so and then the other announcement is is National Scrapbook Day is coming up and that's May 7th so be sure to check our social media you can look at Facebook Instagram Twitter and the Prima blog we're going to be posting all about it we're going to have all kinds of super fun things that we have planned prizes videos free classes fresh project projects and more so also um, we're going to be doing some live with Prima classes it's going to be a blast so be sure to to check out all the different social media to figure that out so okay we're going to get started so I've shown you this one a little bit and this one I have made with blues and greens and golds and this was the first one I did well I loved making it and I had so much fun I actually have made it in two different colors and unfortunately I gave the other the one that was silver and gold away and I would have sworn I took a photo but evidently I took a crummy cell phone photo but the silver and gold one turned out really pretty loved it and then I want to show you all this one too that I did a red one and so this one is a bit smaller this one starts with a five by seven this particular one I started with a four by six frame let's see let's get down a little bit um, and and I think I see you wrote you'd like to do blue and silver any color can go I actually even thought about doing a purple one um, tonight but I decided I'm going to show you all exactly what I did but they all turn out a little bit different this one I used a little bit different um, set of the relics and artifacts the ones um, that have the hole in the center and added stones and beads and a little angel and didn't put words so you can kind of tweak it to do anything you particularly want so lots of lots of different ideas there's just any colors anything goes so let's get started I'm gonna move this aside and I'll be coming back to it to show y'all so this started out and here I'll put it here so you can see that I've totally changed the color this is a frame that I happen to pick up at Hobby Lobby but you can pick up a 5x7 anywhere and I purposely chose it because I wanted something with some detail around it and, and speaking of that, y'all be watching because I, I happen to know that Prima's coming out with some new really beautiful frames too that I can't wait to play. I'm looking and I'm seeing I have a shadow from my camera. Sorry about that, but I don't know how to fix it at this point. So anyway, it started out with this. I've already cleaned the glass and taken out, uh, taken off the price tags and all. And I'm going to open it up because this is going to be, I want, I want to not worry when I'm painting about getting it on all the extra stuff. So I'm going to get rid of that for just a sec and we're going to get started. The color this starts with is uh, the emerald green metallic paint and this is a new metallic product. I'm sure y'all have seen it. This is actually a new jar because I have used a whole jar because I love this color so much and the number is 963170. And what we do is we're going to start with a little bit of this. And I'm going to try to, I can see I'm a little crooked, but I think we're good. If y'all, if I get out of camera range, you know, text me Tiffany or somebody holler at me. Okay. And I'm going to put just a little bit because we're not going to, it doesn't take much. This paint goes so far. And this is, I'm going to let you see, it is so beautiful. Look at that. It picks up the blues and the greens. It's just gorgeous. So for this, I wanted to kind of, give it a wash so I'm going to add a bit of water and by the way just a little tidbit of information these are the new Prima misters that come um, empty and so you can put water or you can mix your own custom colors and so what I did let's see what I got here 
the frame is actually metal. Um, I say it's metal. I think it's kind of, no, I think it's resin actually. So it's got a little bit of oomph to it, but it's not, and it's, this is kind of a metallic finish on it, which is pretty, but I think it makes it prettier when we keep adding. So I'm going to mix this up. And then all I did to start was I just washed it basically. You don't have to worry about covering it perfectly. And the one thing I do want to do is if I start getting lines, I'll probably come back and keep kind of messing with it. You can add a little bit of water, um, but I'm going to let it kind of do what it wants to do. And I'm just going to cover it up and make sure I get, you can see it's got this one, this particular one has a little bit of an inside edge because it's a little thick. You can see and make sure you get it all on those two or at least get some on there because we're going to be adding golds and you can see this is not anything that is for an expert. This is just getting some color on here. I may got a tiny bit too much water, but it will dry. The other neat thing that I love about these is they give this gorgeous finish and this metallic look, but they are acrylics, so they, they dry quickly. So you get not instant gratification, but pretty close. And then I definitely am adding on here. I'm not worried. I'm getting a little down in all these grooves, but I'm not worrying about making sure it's like truly covered. And adding this water to this just really makes it more of a wash. This paint is thick and it definitely gives high coverage with even one coat usually. Um, so, you know, there are certain things you may want two coats, but this is really great paint. Okay, let me make sure I get the outside of it. And y'all can see, just kind of giving it a wash. And we're going to hit it with the dryer. But I definitely want to make sure this is, again, is a little bit outside. Whoops, lost my focus. Hang on, there we go. So it's a little bit thick. So I want to make sure that I'm getting the outside. And I'm not worrying too much about getting it on the back or anything. I don't know about y'all, but I don't normally pick things up in people's homes. So if I get a little something on the back, nobody will know but me. can add a little bit more paint here in a sec because I did get a little too much water there you know there's no right or wrong but it's not grabbing quite as well as I would like it to actually now it's drier so I'm able to get it to grab a bit more there we go so that is all we do with that part make sure I get all the little lines so there we have it and then the next thing is we want to add blue to our relics and artifacts and I actually these are this is the Archi archival cast rising spirit four and this is number nine four one eight two six and you can see this comes with the the neat piece to attach it to if you want to the support I'm tonight not using that because I I'm placing mine against the glass Give me one sec let me open it up Okay, and first thing is, is because I'm gluing it down, I don't need any of the, the rings to hold it. So I'm going to get rid of those real quick. The empty spray bottles are really cool. You definitely want one. And I'll bet you, sorry Tiffany, I'll bet you I did not put that on my list of products. Didn't even think about that one. Okay, sorry about that. I should have done this one a little bit ahead. Okay, now this, again, I don't want it to be exactly perfect because I like all that color variation we're going to get. So I actually, for this part, like it being, I still do need a little bit more paint though. Um, I do like it being a little bit wetter. So let me... And all I did with this was, you can see I even splattered, well, you probably can't because it's not that quite that close. 
and this I'm going to cover it all with this with the paint make sure when you're doing this you get down to the edge because it is so dimensional and this is actually covering a little bit better than I even want it to so I'm going to add a touch more water because I, I liked this when it kind of ran in fact let's just give it a mist itself I like it when it kind of ran and bubbled I'll bring this up close where y'all can see it I practiced today trying to figure out how to get my zoom to work when I was on and I could not get it to do so this and right now it's looking pretty blue but when it starts to dry we're going to get the green will you'll be able to see the green in it more and I need to get the edges I'm going to set that aside see what I mean about there's no reason to really do my nails except I start out with them done okay same thing with these we want to make sure we get the edges and I'm giving it pretty good coverage because um, I really don't want the white to show on this particular project. But I don't I don't care if it's blue, how much is blue, how much is the green. It, it picks up quite a bit of the blue, uh, which I love. I'm a blue nut. That is my favorite. Okay. Let's make sure. and one more actually two more one more wing and then this I love this part I don't know these these are just beautiful they're fun to play with like I said remember if it starts to get a little too done for you just give it a mist And you can see how little paint it actually takes. Like I said, a little bit of this paint goes a long way. And one more wing. I'm trying to see who's here, but I, I don't want to. It's hard to read the chat and paint. <laughs> I'm making a big enough mess without, without not looking, right? Tiffany, I do think when the, uh, she said that she thinks when the water is added, it makes the blue stand out a bit more. And I really do think so, too. Um, here in a sec, when I get this one covered, I'll hold up the piece next to the paint so y'all can kind of see. It's still, it's, hopefully y'all can see it online whenever it start, whenever I get it start to dry. Because, like, this is already dry. And you can already see it's, it's picking up more of the green. But the green's definitely there, but for whatever reason, it looks a bit bluer. Okay, so I'm going to set that there, and then we are done with that paint. That is it for that one. And before I wipe my hands off, I'm going to show y'all. Oh, I put the lid on. Shouldn't have done that. I wanted to show y'all the difference. So you can see it definitely, from the jar, picks up more of the blue. But you can also see the green up here. Let's see if I get close enough. You, you can see the green picking up. And in the picture, you can really, really see the green picking up. Um, let me clean up a bit. Y'all are, are getting to see how I really craft. And look, it's staining my hands because I didn't get it off quick enough. But that's all good, too. But I don't want it all over the glass, so we're going to take a sec to pick it up. Okay. Now, since it is, let's see. I'm going to add a little bit more here. To I'm seeing that this was, on this, it's a slicker surface. On the, on the resins, it really grabs. On this, it doesn't, on the frame, it's not grabbing quite as well. So that may be, you may need to add a little bit more. I would say if you use metal, you want to use, very, if you use a metal frame, you don't want to use much water at all, just enough to get it to, to kind of wash it. But 
it, it really depends on the surface, how much water, and it's trial trial and error. But because there's because you're not truly covering it, it's not a problem. You can always add or give it a mist. Okay, so that is that really is it for the blue and the the emerald green. It's emerald green, but y'all, I can guarantee you, I'm going to call it blue on that. Okay, let's set that aside, and I'm going to give this. Like I said, it is acrylic, but I'm going to give it a quick dry. So that we can do the, the next color. <laughs> Trying to read a little bit. I'm not sure, because you need this to be a little dry for the next step. Okay, I'll come back and dry a little bit more if we need to, but that's probably good enough. Okay, the next color, like I said, y'all are going to get to see how I really craft tonight. <laughs> um, I use my hands a lot. Okay, so the next color is, uh, and you can see I use this one constantly. I've totally tore up the bottle. It's the Metallic Steampunk Copper, and it is number 963064. And this one, we're not going to water down. Should have brought a couple of extra brushes. Well, actually, we are going to, but not first. Okay. So, should have brought a couple of extra brushes over here to get paint out or something, but I didn't. So, we'll, we'll just keep grabbing brushes. Okay. So, to start out, I'm using it um, full without any, not adding any water. And like I said, I like to do this with my fingers. So if you're somebody who doesn't like to get messy, this one may bother you and you may need to find an alternative. You probably could even put on some uh, little latex gloves or something to do this, but I like to use my finger. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting a little bit on my finger and I'm giving, me, giving it some copper. So can you see that? And I'm this is where all the details to me start to shine. So see how that's looking? And what I'm doing for now is I'm not getting on the inside, but I just on this, on all the detail. And don't forget to put a little bit on the edges. Oh, sorry. I saw, saw myself get out. So if I get out, y'all holler at me. I'll, I'll try to well, text me, Tiffany, because I probably will miss it on the chat. Okay. And then again, don't forget to put some on the outside. And I'm just, see, I'm just smearing it on. On all the different sides. And this one, again, you can see that I've got a little more water in it, but I still like that look. I think it still looks pretty. Okay. So that is for that part. And then while it's still full strength, we're going to do the same thing here. And I missed a bit, so I'm going to make sure I put a little bit of copper where I missed. And just get a little bit on your heart, just to kind of keep that color in there. You can do as much or as little, total personal choice. I am not doing very much. And you really can't truly see, but I'm putting very little. That's why. I kind of give it a little swirl here because I don't want it drippy. I just want it enough to grab. This one's still a little too wet, but I think it'll work. So see how that makes that start to pop, that look? You can make sure you get a little bit here and there everywhere. And then same thing with the wings. This one, I really need to go back and add a little bit of blue. I missed a whole spot. That's part of being live, though, right? Going to add a tiny bit in there because I won't ever get my finger down in there. Okay. And see how I'm just picking up some of the edges. You can get your finger down in there. And see how I'm starting to build the different colors. Oh, 
I love, I just love all the detail in these relics and artifacts. There's like these feathers just start to look gorgeous and they just pick up anything. And just by painting them with all the little grooves and nooks, it, uh, again, here I missed a little bit, so I'm adding a little bit of copper over that. So that is it for the paint, y'all. So see how that picks it up. This one's still a little bit wet, you can see, but hopefully by the time we get back to it, it will be dry. So we are going to set those aside. Oh, wait, forgot one thing. It's the way I roll, right? Last thing, the frame. Um, now I'm going to add a tiny bit of water, and I am going to use this fan brush. This may have a real technical name that I don't know, but it looks like a fan to me. And for this, I'm gonna, I, I've added water because I want it to be a thin coat, but I also want it to really give me some lines. So you can see how I've kind of pulled it apart, and I'm just going to give it just a sweep. Don't get too much water. I actually have a little bit much because we're live, <laughs> of course, and I'm working quick. But you can see that this gives you just a really nice, just a few lines, and really make sure that your blues and greens are still showing through. And get me a little bit more paint because that water's a little much. Okay. So let's see if y'all can see. So you can see that it's just a touch of color, touch of this in the center, because I didn't want it, I wanted it to be across the thing. And I've already done the edges, but if you want to, you can add in a few little spots and add a little bit with the fan brush. So now we are really truly done with the paint. Okay. Tiny bit more cleanup again. In fact, I'm going to set these aside on a paper towel so we can move to the next section. And let's see. Let's move this. Sorry, always a little cleanup in these. But I could keep layering stuff, but I keep thinking I'll probably lose focus if I go white. So I'm trying to avoid doing that. That should be pretty good. And you can see that my hands are, I'm not even, I'm not going to take a lot of time, but I have definitely made a mess picking those up while they're wet. And, uh, whoops, sorry, at home you're probably not going to pick them up while they're wet. You're going to let them sit there and dry. So you're not going to be covered in paint except for if you're using your fingers. And that comes right off with a little bit of soap. Okay, so next thing up is the glass. And this is, uh, I'm not going to put it in the frame yet um, because it is, uh, actually, let me draw the frame a bit because it's a little bit easier if I put it in the frame. So let me make sure this frame's really dry. That way you can see, at least around here on the edges. Okay. Yeah, just a little tacky. Okay, so I used... Um, a piece of paper that has disappeared. Oh, here it is. Okay, it is, um, this is from Vintage Emporium, and you can see it's really beautiful. It's called Florence, and it's 847609, and I've gone ahead and cut a piece of it, and what I did was, is instead of doing anything to the paper, I'm doing everything on the glass. So, and this cardboard came with the frame, so be sure to hang on to that for whatever frame if you have it so that you're, it'll sit nicely. Okay, so now we're going to start adding some of the foils. So just a piece of paper, nothing to it, and I left the glass. Um, and the first thing we want to do is, as you can see, that I put a lot of different, uh, different foils here, um, some shapes. I used my ATG gun, which we're going to do too. But the first one I used was... Uh, Number 971410, and these are the Christine Adolph Adhesive Rub-Ons. You could definitely um, change the sentiment. You're right, Janelle. Um, there are so many different words and so many different choices with these. Um, you could change the shapes. Um, if you remember, the red one I showed you, I didn't use words. I used a different shape just to give it 
something a little different for that one so they wouldn't all be the same. Um, the gold and silver one, I did use the same words because that was the message that I wanted to send. It was a gift. Okay, so what I did was is I used this little section. And I cut it up. So because I want to place it in different places around. So let's say about right here, I'm looking at my other one and I'm just, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. And how about that one? And then this one, I've got two straight edges and I don't really want any straight edges. So I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to give my, I'm going to cut some of it out. You can see just kind of along the pattern, but not necessarily. But I just don't want a real straight edge. I love the kind of distressed looking edges of these. So we're going to start and actually let's do, I did a little strip over here on the side so I can cut this one in half. And that one. And you can see, and I really did do it this way, that I didn't worry about how big. No two are going to be the same. Okay. They do not need heat. Um, these foils stick to the adhesive as is. So, and if, if you haven't seen these before, I'm going to show you. This is the adhesive, and on glass, you need to make sure you got it set. Well, anything. And we're going to put them down and burnish it a little bit. Whoops. And it helps if you don't grab the plastic. But especially in this particular thing, it really doesn't matter if you do. Because like I said, I'm going for a not perfect look. I'm going for just a little bit distressed look. So, And I'm going to add all these. Yeah, you can see that even online. Sometimes it's hard to see certain things online. So I'm glad y'all can see that. And anywhere you want to put them is fine. But I'm tucking them up under a little because I don't want gaps. And these stick really quickly to glass, so you don't have to be quite as, as careful as you might um, with paper. With you, you can tell when they're changing colors, but on the glass they stick really quick, so you don't have to do much with this. Um, I would suggest, just as a little tip, you take a little bit more time on paper and you will see that I take a little bit more time when I'm putting them on the heart making sure it's really truly adhered before I pull it up. I even remember to put my trash can by me. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. And one more. This is one of those classes that I really couldn't work ahead. Usually I try to have a little bit done ahead, so I'm hoping I can make it under an hour, and I th or within an hour, and I think I can. Okay, so you can see that's all the adhesive. So next up is adding some of the copper foil, and I have it right here, and that is, let's see, this one is called Shine On, and this one is not quite as metallic looking as some of the others, um, but it it's still metallic looking, but it's, it's just a little bit of a different look, and oh, here's the number, let's see, 585-600, uh, and if you haven't seen these before, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. There is six pieces, and you can tell by the outside, so this one has three different colors, and um, there's two of each color, and I used this top one, and so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out, and so like I said, if you haven't seen this, you see it's silver, well this one's kind of gold, but the color on the top you want facing up so that the back part is what you're setting on your adhesive. 
So all you have to do is lay it over it and give it a quick little rub. And there we go, we've got copper. So that's that shape. And with another thing, just another little tip is, is when you're doing this, make sure it will grab the glue if you touch it where you've already pulled it off. So I'm getting up close, I can show you, but I gave it a fold and I'm in a whole new place of foil. And that makes it stick much, much better and it doesn't pull your adhesive up. So. Same thing, just all this, I mean, we're doing, whoops, we're doing exactly the same thing on all the places where we put adhesive. And I like to do it close because I want, I want my foils to go as far as possible because I'm sticking this stuff on everything and loving it. Okay, and you can see here, let me show y'all, maybe you can't. Yeah, you can see there's a little yellow. If you miss a spot with these, it's really great too because you can just go back and just on one of those places that you haven't foiled, just give it a rub and I can see up here, y'all probably can't because it's up under here, missed another little piece. So now I've got it all covered. So that's our first step with the foils. Okay, let me set this one here. And then uh, the next part, the next thing before we get to the other, the words and all, is, is that I actually had this all done and thought, you know, I want some more. And so I decided to add some of the green foil. So again, it's the same concept. I'm going to cut, th for this one I used the script. And I'm being careful to kind of cut this because I want to save all these pieces. And this I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut it apart in a few little places. And with the script, it's kind of easy. You can kind of go between it and, let's see, along with the script. And I have no idea what this says, but I love the look. And let's see, I think I'm just going to use a couple. Okay, same thing. Okay, this one I'm going to trim down a bit because I've got a little much at the top. And I, I want to tuck it under here. So now I'm layering it right on top. And you can do that. It is not any kind of problem. I hope y'all are seeing how simple this project is. Okay, and let's put, eh, I think I'll put this piece. about right there. And don't touch it like that and pull it up um, on another project. If you touch it and it started to stick, just own it and go with it. Um, what I just did, I caught it myself quick enough doing it that I didn't mess it up and because this is distressed, but it will start to stick and you, if you're really wanting a real specific shape, you don't want to do that because you will lose some of that shape to that pulling it up because it is adhesive. Um, and for this one, I use the green. This is Bora Bora, and this is 585655. And you can see here, again, this one has a dark blue, which is stunning, and this color, which I love, but it was too close to the color I was already using. So this, uh, for the contrast of it, I chose the green. So let me get us a sheet. Whoops, got two. And again, two in each package. And stick it down and just burnish it. And you really do not have to push this. Let me show you. It sticks so easy. So see how that green just, I don't know, love this color. And again here. Oops, I missed a little bit. Okay. So now I've got a little green to the top and to the side. And then you will see on this one that then I added a bit of a border. 
And so we're going to do that real quick, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And for this, I did it after because with the overlap, I wanted to make sure that I have this placed correctly. But what it also does is, is the way I placed it, it makes me know exactly where I need to do that overlap to make it show. And this I used my ATG gun. Um, you can use any adhesive that will stick to the glass, which pretty much means anything. And I, I added some straps of adhesive. This can all over mat is awesome um, because this glass isn't going anywhere, including letting me pick it up very easily. And I'm just going to make sure that I have a little bit here and there. And I did the same thing. I started with some copper. And see, this is, this is not perfect. I don't want it perfect. I like the freedom of not even trying to do that. It, uh, it allows you to just go and enjoy the process, in my opinion. Some things I, I want to be, I'm a ruler girl, but for this kind of stuff, I love just going with it. So there is the copper. You can see I'm starting to add a bit more. And then I went back and did the same thing, and I added a bit of green. And I'm going to have some of it overlap and some of it not overlap. Whoops, I didn't get my thing to stick there. But I definitely want a little green here too. Okay. Now you can really see that contrast. I'm having trouble picking this up, so I'll pick it up at the end and show y'all. Let's see how you can tell how easily it picks it up. Oops, I missed on that one. And see, this is what I'm saying. It has to be the back because I touched it with that. You're not getting foil that way. <laughs> Can't seem to get close to it this time. Need to move things out of the way. So let's do, I know I put some up here. And since I pulled this up, I'm going to put a tiny bit more there. Okay, so now we have our green added in. Making sure I got everything. See what I mean? I can't, there we go. <laughs> I couldn't get hold of it. Okay, let's put it back together because that's the last time we'll need to take it out. Okay, so you can see here, now I've got all these colors, or both of these colors, but I've got both colors plus the blues added in. Okay, so next up is the words, and this is, let's see, 971342, and for this I chose, I chose hope, joy, and love, so cut those out. Whoops, I'm sticking everything to the foil tonight. Need to quit messing it up. All right, we are done with that. And so I'm going to cut these words out of here, and I'm going to make sure that I don't cut into the extra words, because trust me, like I said, I don't throw any of this away. I have punched it, I've cut it up, and every little piece that's left, I save. I have a couple of the ones that, the packages that I've just put all my scraps in. And let's see where, oh, it was right there and I missed it. And here is what. Okay. Now, let's see if this is dry. Okay, the heart's dry enough. So, the joy is going to go on the heart. Move this out. So, I like, and, and I'm going to give you all a little tip here. It being a small word makes it easier to wrap it around. 
a larger word might be a little more difficult. So I purposely, for the heart, am putting joy. Except I can't get it apart. Okay. And again, when you hold it above it a little bit and make sure you're lined up before you touch it because it's going to stick. And this one, I mostly just used my nail and my finger so that I could make sure I was working it around. Um, you can, of course, use the little applicator that comes with it. And Joy is on there, and it did well. And then I did copper here. Like I said, any little wrinkles, any little missed spots, just touch it again and you're good. So here is Joy that's going on here. And I know y'all think I'm missing stuff, but I'm not. We're going to get to it. Now, here's the one thing about, um, let me move this in, is that to place the hope and the love, because this is, whoops, I may have just touched the hope to my pad. Because this, uh, the relics really cover a large portion of my frame to place the hope and the love before I do though that, I want to kind of know approximately where this is going to go so it shows. So thinking I kind of like this and it'll look good. And we're going to place the hope. And let's see, I want it to be about, and I'm going to move this piece so I can get it placed because I know once I touch it, that's where it's going to be. And then the love, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to whoops, knock it under there. And the love, I'm going to put over here where I know it will be seen. Yeah, that's enough room. See, that one I touched a bit, but it's still good. Just a tiny bit at the top of the L. Okay. So let's give this a little bit of burnishing. I'm going to really make sure, because these are words. I definitely want to try to make sure I have all of them, which is why I know y'all can't see. But it kind of, you can see when you're doing it in real life, you can see the color change. And then if you bring it up slow, you can make sure that if you missed any spot, you can pop it right back down. And I got it all. Good. And then let's do the love. I'm having trouble getting hold of these. Okay, there we go. Now these I also did copper to for that uniformity across the board. Let's see. Make sure you don't get it on there on a place that's already been foiled. And there is hope. And here is love. Can you see where I made a little bit of a thing on the L, but still pretty. You can still see it says love. Okay, next thing. This one really stayed blue. To, oh, you know what? I'm going to, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Okay, so next thing is, is adding all of the extra foiling. You can see on here, and even though the heart is much bluer than the frame, this one pretty much is the same too, but we're going to add the foils to add green. Um, and so it will end up all going together nicely. Now this, again, like I said, y'all are getting the way I really do stuff. And actually, I'm just gonna, yeah, no, I don't want white. Okay, so this is Fabri-Tac. And it will come out eventually. 
Of course it doesn't want to. Give me just a sec. There it comes. And what I did was, is I put a little bit on the, on a plate, a piece of paper. Um, I really usually use a piece of paper, but I don't want to lose the focus from it. So we are going to start out. And what you're going to do with this, you're going to get a little bit on your finger. And, and you are going to rub it. And if you see, I'm rubbing it more than once. What I want it to do is be almost dry, because if you've used Fabri-Tac, you know it dries really quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm rubbing it to the point where it is almost dry, and then all these spots, and this you don't have to be careful like you do with like the words. And this is how I added in the foil. See how that picked it up? And I am going to add foil just here and there. Um, I'm using this new one, but you can even use, if you've used the foils and you've got some that are uh, already a bit used and this, it's not going to matter if it doesn't stick everywhere, but just give it a rub and start adding here and there some of this. And you want to make sure, some of the Fabri-Tac, you want to make sure again that you're getting a little bit on the inside, a little bit on the outside. I hope y'all can see that, how much that's adding that foil. And let me actually pull this up close so y'all can see. I hope y'all, I'm looking at, yeah, you can kind of see. See how it's even a bit stringy. I've got a little glob here. With this, sec this part, that doesn't matter. It's just wherever it is, is where it's going to stick. And so if you have some strings, like I had a few strings left, just give them a rub. This is just glue. It'll come right off. And if it, if it pulls off some of your foil and you want more, no problem. Go add a bit more. Keep losing. And I need to be able to see so I can see if I'm on. <laughs> Like I said, the trick is to get this tacky, and I even got a little bit on the frame here, and I actually love that. So I'm going to make a point to touch it with the foil. And so you can see I got a little bit here on the inside, and I love that. That's not a problem. And so I'm kind of focusing mostly on these detailed spots because I like the way it leaves the blues and the greens inside. And I'm going to have to get some more glue. <laughs> and this I can sit and do all day long, but I'm just going to do a bit. And if I need to go back, I will. Um, but I don't want y'all to have to sit and watch too long. So, but you can definitely, I mean, this, this is just keep adding till you like it. And then uh, I'm going to add some to the hearts too. And I can tell you, I, me and this glue are not going to be happy tonight. Uh, I can tell you, I will probably add a bit more. And definitely don't forget the outside, which I'm not going to mess with online. I need a new bottle, y'all. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to get out a bunch this time, though, so hopefully I won't have to come back. <laughs> Okay, now same thing on these pieces. I'm exactly the same thing. I'm just adding a bit of Fabri-Tac to my fingers and I'm touching it here and there. And these are smaller, so I'm just going to go ahead and touch it in several places and do it all at once. Oops, got, definitely gotten the dry. But you can see this can be a bit stringy, but if you can stand it, it's worth it. So definitely tacky. All right, so you can see here. And let's show you here. And just rub it. And see that? Is that gorgeous? 
I love this foil. I'm telling y'all, I could, I don't know, maybe I'll foil my wall or something. It is so fun to use, so easy to use, and uh, I think it just adds a gorgeous touch to pretty much anything. I've seen, you know, it's been on, everybody's used it on pages and projects and flowers. You can do this, uh, Sharon did this same thing with Fabri-Tac on some flowers, and that was lovely. It's just great. Okay. So, same thing here. I'm just getting here and there. I'm going to get a move on. <laughs> Y'all want to know that I see, I see that Mildred says I'm brave putting it on my fingers. If you rub it together, you can rub it right off your fingers if you make sure you don't get it on your nails. So see this? See how that's adding like just so much more. And it's a lot easier with the, the relics pieces if you do it before you glue them down to your frame. Um, just because you can get to everything a little bit easier. Almost done. I keep taking this out. I'm sorry. <laughs> taking it out of the, out of view. So see. And I got a string, so I'm just going to wipe it off. It'll This fabric type, you can just pull on it and wipe it right off. Okay, same thing with this. This is flat. And I want to show you all, too, you can even take the ATG gun, and you can do exactly what I was doing with your fingers, which I'll do. But you, Whoops, I didn't get that to stick too well. But you can even add just some stripes super easy just by using this to these flatter pieces. This won't work as well if at all. Let's see. And that looks nice with the lines I did up there. Same thing here. And then I definitely want a little bit up here, so I'm going to put some on there. I'm getting to the point where I have so much on my fingers that I almost don't need to touch the stuff in the plate. So, that is all of that color. And then I did the exact same thing, only I went back with the green. And what I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to show you all a little bit on the frame where, where I'm going to cover. But we're just going to do the, uh, the cert, the, just the sections that we're going to cover. Because now you know how to do it, and we've already done the copper. So just places that I know are going to be hard to get to when I glue it down. But we are going to... I am going to do the whole heart and the wing so you can see how that looks. So now we start adding in the green. And I'll pick this up and let y'all see a little closer. Because I know sometimes it's hard to see. So see how, let's see. This The green is really, really shiny. It's kind of hard. But you start getting, I'll do one little section so you can see. Because over here it's going to cover too. But, and you can go right over. I, I will go over. I'll do it in a different place. It really doesn't. It's not going to do anything. It'll dull the copper where I hit it with the glue. But the copper will show through with the places I didn't hit it. Yeah, there I think you might be able to see. So there's the... It is hard. This There's a little bit of glare. But hopefully y'all can see the uh, the green too. And then let's do on the wings... And the heart, because those are the ones that are harder to get to. I gotta get a little bit of this off me. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, so just a little bit. And then you're gonna add a little bit of green here and there. I was a little lighter on the green than I am on the copper. Because I'm wanting it to be more of an accent. I really pulled up mostly of the copper. Okay. Now I've got paper towel stuck to me. That's, that wasn't a good idea. Okay. And then do the same thing. Just rub it. And I'm just rubbing it everywhere so I don't even have to worry about 
where it is. I'm just making sure it gets attached. Okay. Now you can see the green. See how that, that green just really picks up? And you'll see that we're starting to pull the whole thing together, the outside and the inside. So it doesn't really matter that the inside picked up more blue. And you really shouldn't put as much Fabri-Tac. You, you just do it in little sections. Um, this Fabri-Tac is already drying, which is making it a little harder to work with. It won't stick to your fingers as bad either if it's a little bit wetter when you start. Then it's mostly sticking to your piece instead of to your hand. I had to get a wet one out. I can't. I've got paper towels stuck to me now. <laughs> okay. So here we go. This is the same thing too. If you if you feel that it's not sticking or you see a place, just stick it again. And two more little pieces, and then we're ready to glue this down. It's gonna be a tiny bit over, but not much, I don't think. Sorry about that, y'all. So I was afraid of. I was afraid that paper towel would start getting on my piece. So you can see a tiny bit more. Miss this side all together. And again, rub this to make sure it's tacky. You want it all but dry. Okay. And this one. And this one, let's put a little bit here with my finger. And then I'll use the ATG gun again so that I oh, can finish the messiness. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing here and just use the ATG gun to get a little bit of, it heat, of it, the green on here. My hands are a total mess. But really, you have to remember, normally I wouldn't have the blue, but I was picking stuff up to show y'all. <laughs> normally it would just be just the finger that I was touching the paint or the glue with. It would be a real quick cleanup, but picking it up to show y'all is bad. So see how gorgeous that looks? I, I mean, I think the green just made it. And I'm still, like I said, you can keep doing this forever, but the pot, I'll, I'll, it's a little harder to go back and do the relics pieces once they're in. It's not undoable, but it's just a little harder. The frame will be easy for me to go back and add green to all the edges. Okay, so that is all for that. And all we lack is gluing it down. Um, now this you can do two ways. You can either, I don't know what I touched. Sorry about that. Something was going wonky. You can either lay it flat and go from there. Or like I did, I raised it up. I liked it better. It's not a problem if you want to lay it flat, but I liked it being raised up. I liked the way it set a little better. So what I did was, is I took some foam dots and added them to these pieces. And actually, I can't even remember. Yeah, okay, I know what I did. I had to make sure I did that I was gonna not tell y'all a lie. Um, I, used e or I used E6000 
and I'm going to use that if I can find it. But I'm also going to use a little bit of hot glue to make it stick quicker tonight. So what I did was, is on the back, just to make sure, because I want this to be permanent. I don't want it to go anywhere. So I used a tiny bit, and I'm leaving a little bit of the adhesive, which will make it easier for me to work with. But it's going to have a touch of E6000. And the E6000, if you've used it, you know, it takes a little bit longer to dry. So that's why we're going to use a little bit of hot glue, too, to get this all attached. So this, let's see. I've got the hot glue gun, so let's do this. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I was out. Y'all couldn't even probably see that. So I'm putting a tiny bit of E6000 in the center. My hands are so sticky. Give me just a sec. Yeah, that one's useless. <laughs> Let's get a new one. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so I want to make sure that I got a little bit of E6000 on this part and a little bit of hot glue just so it'll stick per quick for us. So let's start with a little bit of, actually, let's start with a little bit of E6000 because hot glue, once I put it, I'm going to want to operate. So, and you don't have much wiggle room with hot glue. Especially if you're, oh, there it goes. It's going, especially if your hot glue gun doesn't like you. Okay. So this, I'm going to put, I already had this one laying pretty much where I wanted it. And I'm going to set this here. Yeah. I'm going to scoot it over a bit. You've got a tiny bit of time for that hot glue. And then same thing with this piece. We're going to let that part start drying. Oh. And I don't know if y'all have wa watched me talk about the foam dots before. I actually love these that have the outside. And after I get all the circles done, um, I will come back and cut those apart and use all the outer edges. So I love foam dots that, that have that. Okay. And a little bit of hot glue so it'll stick. see there we go and this I'm gonna do let's see okay so this one um, you can see a little bit I'm gonna push this down in here because I want this dimensional so I want this to pop up so I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue down here so it'll stick quick but I am gonna put some e I'm going to put quite a bit of E6000 here, so wherever it happens to hit, it'll catch. Because like I said, that's the permanent part. And then let me show you all one thing. If when you come back, it's hanging over and you can see any white, mine is pretty close. You can always go back there with a uh, just a touch of the paint. In fact, you probably have enough in your brush left at this point. And then I did this wing flat. So this one, I just need a bit of hot glue. And this is letting me build that dimension and let it all sit together nicely. So there you go. And of course, like I said, I'll be adding a little bit of green to the extra, but you can see the green here. And that is it, y'all. And I think it's more my camera because this is not as blue. It is definitely more blue than the outside, but it's not as blue in my real life. And in fact, let's do this just to show y'all. If yours ends up and it is bluer or you don't like it, go back with a little bit of the copper. And you can always just go in with a little, you can just, I just, out of camera again. I just actually even just grabbed a little bit. Going to give it a rub. I can't hardly feel this finger anymore. <laughs> and add a little bit more copper and that can tone it down a bit if you if you feel like it's just a little too much for you but like I said here in front of me 
it's not nearly as blue as when I look up at the at the video and see. So you can go back in and add a little bit here and there of what you want to, to get it exactly. So you can always keep adding. Um, you could always go black in if you if you got too much of this and and you were thinking, oh, I don't I've got too much copper at the end, go back in with your blue and just add a little touch to your finger and you're good to go adding it here and there too. So the other thing is, as you saw in the uh, container, that the full strength paint is a little bit more uh, green before you add water. Let me show you all this really quick. So you can even go back in and you can just even use, just touch something in the lid. Let me, you can see I, I don't want it drippy. I just want a tiny bit. I've got, y'all have never seen a messy cl a class this messy. And you can come back and do the same thing and add some color in. And that'll get you some more of the greens in if you want to. So ideas are endless. You can just kind of play with it till it's exactly like what you want. So that's the one. And like I said, that one is definitely bluer, but not as blue. This one, even this one, which really is the same color, it tends to look a, bit, a little bit bluer. So that is it, y'all. So hopefully you enjoyed tonight. I, I love having y'all here. Um, we appreciate y'all being here so much. Um, and we will put this on YouTube. And be sure not to forget. Be sure not. Be sure not to forget. Um, May seventh is National Scrapbook Day, and there's all the activities. And don't forget to tune in Tuesday. You can find all that on the social media for Cat Kerr, who's guesting for us. Thanks so much, y'all.